The Combat Collective is here, bringing you everything you want to know about the heavyweight class, the fully weight class, but more specifically, the heavyweight class today. And we're back again for the third and final part of the TCC 100. If you've seen our last two videos, and be sure you check them out before this, you've sat through 66 promising and some maybe not so promising candidates for the 2024 heavyweight season coming up. From Apollo, Original Sin, and Double Tap in part number one to Bayamoth, Waver, Rotator, Hexadecimator, and even Gigabyte, among others, in part number two, we now move on to the very, very best in the sport, number 32 to our TCC 10, all the way down to number one. The deeper we get into this video, the bigger the names will be in the sport. We got more Battlebots mainstays, the true elites of the UK scene, the most dominant robots from both Battle of Robots and Robo Games, and even a few robots which really took advantage of numerous events like Proving Grounds to achieve a high spot in our rankings. In total, we have five event champions from the last year and three undefeated robots in this top 32. And I'm sure by process of elimination, you may have a good idea on who sits where in this list the longer we go along. But just like in our last two videos, for a reminder on how the TCC ranking slash point system works for our annual heavyweight ranking list every year, you can take a look at the full rankings in the completed document in the description below or check out our graphic we have on the screen right now. As always, to counteract the volume of sportsmen slash non-full combat events in the heavyweight class, their fights are worth around half value. Full combat KOs are 8 points. Judges wins in the full combat class are 6 points. Sportsmen KOs are worth 4 points. And judges wins in the sportsmen class are worth 2. In the rare case where we do have a result for a fight, but no footage or info of a decision, the robot is awarded 3 points for a win. And it is completely inverted if you lose, whether it be sportsmen, unknown, or full combat. The points you normally would be awarded are points lost, and that honestly affects a ton of robots. Over two-thirds of the TCC rankings list are in the negatives. But now, let's wrap this thing up. We got new and old names on this list, but who's the best robot in all of 2023? Is it going to be a Chinese bot, an American robot, maybe even a European or Russian bot? Let's find out. Welcome to the Combat Collective. Kicking off part three on our list of the 32 best robots in the world, we have a true old head of the game at number 32. One of, if not the oldest American roboteer in the game today, Donald Hudson with the now seven-time BattleBots competitor Lockjaw. The nearly 10-year-old robot had an impressive 3-1 regular season, only losing to eventual champion Sawblaze. And then in the playoffs, it had an insane comeback victory against Bloodsport in the round of 32 before being stopped dead in its tracks by fellow green four-wheel drive Burt's Witch Doctor in the Sweet 16. This wrapped up Lockjaw's year with four wins and two losses, enough for 14 points total, which just barely brought Lockjaw into our own top 32 at number 32. But now for number 31, we go from an American OG to the Indian OGs with Danaji, the historic Team Blanca Bot signature heavyweight, which after two appearances at Bitva Robotov, finally appeared in a major with Battle of Robots 2023. This India-style compact two-wheel drive vert was an odds-on favorite to go the distance amongst its qualifier B peers, and it certainly impressed in said qualifier with victories over Drummer in round one and Andromeda in round two in a match which featured one of the biggest hits of the entire Battle of Robots event. Danaji sadly wasn't so successful in the December finals, dealing with internal gremlins in their awkward round of 16 win over Turbo Masha, and then even more when it lost a controversial judge's decision against Barracuda. The robot ended up wrapping the year at an admirable 3-1 with a couple of knockouts, but compared to what the team likely expected of themselves, there is certainly room for Danaji to grow. Pulling up at number 30 is the heart of Las Vegas, the Sin City Slugger itself, Jackpot from Vegas Combat Robotics, captained by an often discussed competitor in the sport last year, the talented Jeff Waters. Jeff was turning heads and making headlines in every single weight class last year, especially around the end of the year. But in a season where I was really hard on the Jackpot redesign at first, most notably with the Shreem Mech, the team would shut me up over the course of 2023 with victories over Ribot, Shredderator, Cobalt, Whiplash, Disarray, amongst others, and what was a 7-win, 4-loss year for the bot on a budget. 
Jackpot could have had an even higher ranking in 2023 had it partook in Robo Games, which it looks to be doing this year. Expect this robot to be ranked very high once again come our next ranking series, 2025. Now at number 29, we break into the literally roaring 20s with a robotic dinosaur, one of the most shocking rookies this year in Teratops. The U.S.-U.K. team of Team Teratops stomped into the scene this year at BattleBots World Championship 7 as an alternate, and when challenging other alternates such as Double Tap and Doomba, Teratops stood head and shoulders above the rest of its underdog pack with impressive efforts versus Slamo, Doomba, and of course Mammoth and Rotator. The terrific Triceratops did not settle for one event, though. Teratops also appeared at RoboGames 2023, where it obliterated LazyBot and literally broke the arena against Manta, making a massive name for itself, where it is almost certain to be a Rookie of the Year contender at BattleBots World Championship 8, likely in an arms race against Manta. Wonder where Manta's going to end up on this list? I guess we're going to have to hold tight and see. But now, on to number 28, and it's to another beloved 2023 rookie as we bounce from a terror to a literal travesty. And yes, that's the robot's name. You know who exactly we're talking about with the one and only Travis T. This robot from Kurt Kruger and Team 2x4 took the sport by storm with this wild design last July, turning the skeptics into fanatics quickly with two dominant knockout wins in 2023 against Overkill and Snakebite inside the Proving Grounds arena, leaving the wacky scaffolding-based horizontal spinner at a simple 2-0 for the year with two knockouts. The team has since made some major improvements and changes to Travis D for 2024, but has not seen the same success thus far. They are signed up for Robo Games, though. Should be a great test for the robot, seeing it in a full tournament setup. Next up at number 27, we go from a BattleBots hopeful to a robot which has seriously turned heads at BattleBots in the past. Get this, half a decade ago at BattleBots 2019. Man, time sure flies. It's the robot formerly known as Rainbow, now going by the name of Iron Wind with Team Energy. The heart-shaped horizontal spinner was easily one of the most recognizable names in the Battle of Robots 2023 field, and while it didn't go as far as its sibling robot Barracuda, it certainly left much more of an impact with some brutal knockouts, including two sub-minute knockouts versus Gladiator and Auxilium in its qualifier event. In the December of finals, it would eventually meet its match versus the powerful Wayside 23, but not before wrapping up a 3-1 year with all three of its victories coming by way of evisceration. Watch out for this robot come Battle of Robots 2024, and maybe watch out for this robot around the world if Team Energy so chooses to pursue other events. Next up at 26, maybe the most impressive Proving Grounds exclusive robot to date thus far, RoboGym's Wicked Undercutter Roundhouse. Number 26 is a massive step up for Team RoboGym, who was ranked number 121 in the year prior with Deadlift. And unlike Deadlift, Roundhouse, a 250-pound version of the team's championship featherweight, is a full-on kinetic energy monster, which holds up in both the durability and the destruction department after two impressive back-and-forth battles against Orbitron, one of the most solid robots to miss our TCC 100 list. Roundhouse withstood some massive strikes from the AI-powered Vert and delivered even more of their own, knocking out Orbitron in both of its fights, with Orbitron even getting set ablaze by Roundhouse in the latter battle. Needless to say, out of all the non-vertical spinners vying for a World Championship 8 slot right now, I don't think anyone is closer to such a position than Roundhouse. Maybe the top 32 is their next step? Only time will tell. And now, with number 25, we have moved into the top quarter of the TCC 100, the 25 best robots in the world, and at the bottom of that 25, we have, oddly enough, the robot we consider the best in the world back in 2022, the former TCC number one Ranky Hypershock. Last year, after wicked performances at BattleBots, Remar's All-Stars, and the Golden Bolt bracket, we saw Hypershock end its year with a 10-2 record and 64 points. But with much adversity from robots such as Riptide and Sawblaze, that dominance was not easy to replicate, as even with Alex Bales driving half the year again, Hypershock only put together a 6-3 record in 2023, enough for 16 total points this year. But with Whale Bales moving to Vertigo in 2024 and Alex Bales taking on Hypershock full-time, I do believe this robot will still be a threat for the number one spot come this time around when we do the 2025 TCC 100. And next up, at number 24 in 2024, 
We have Slammo 3.0, shockingly enough. And no, before you say, wait a minute, Slammo did awful last year. It went 2-0 and in alternate exhibitions. You are correct. But that was Slammo 2.0. Slammo 2.0 is on our rankings list at number 198 of 211, but just a measly 174 positions above it since Slammo 3.0. The Proving Ground exclusive robot that, despite not having the most operative weapons, still has managed to push its way towards a couple of big wins while being the most active Proving Grounds robot there is outside of Doom. Slammo 3.0 across two different drivers has put together a respectable four-win, two-loss record while competing at Proving Grounds, with its only losses coming against the BattleBots gatekeeper Scorpius. If the team can make its suplex game more consistent, not much currently stops Slammo from an opportunity to relive its 2020 glory, maybe in the BattleBots World Championship 8 main season. There's still time to prove them. And now, at number 23, another underdog story, and we're pretty much fully into BattleBots powerhouse territory now with the next 8 entries on our list, all having impressive runs at either World Championship 8 or the second Golden Bolt bracket. And talking about the latter event, I don't think one robot will be more synonymous with a second Golden Bolt tournament than Evan Arias, Miracle Machine, Shred It Bro. After two years of high promise and major disappointment with Pain Train, Captain Evan Arias announced his second heavyweight, Shred It Bro, at an NHRL event in 2022. But at first, things looked the same as usual. Two wins, two losses in World Championship 7 regular season with fights so underwhelming they would sometimes be put into picture-in-picture picture on Discovery. The team was then told before their first Golden Bolt bracket fight that if they did not win this round one battle versus Scorpius, they would not appear next season in BattleBots regardless. They then proceeded to win that battle, and then the next three after that to become the shock of the tournament where it then went on to have a phenomenal battle versus Saw Blaze in the Golden Bolt Top 8, where it did lose by judge's decision, but not before leaving an impressive underdog mark, a robot we are certainly going to see more of in 2024. But now we now move on to another NHRL robot which got upscaled for the World Championship 7 tournament, a robot which has proudly supported us at the Combat Collective over the last year. After just a couple of impressive events in the 30-pound class, a full 250-pound version of Ripperoni debuted at BattleBots 2022, bringing together an all-star team which featured pit crew members from the Uppercut, P1, and Valkyrie team, including Valkyrie driver Frederick Moore. After some new bot struggles in round one versus Gruff, Ripperoni really got the oven cooking with three straight wins over the likes of former champion Endgame and eventual semifinalist Copperhead. The robot then claimed a serious seed in the playoffs despite being a rookie, and after a quick exit from the bracket, it went on to put on just as solid of a performance in the Golden Bolt tournament, going all the way to the final eight where wheel chicanery ended up costing it versus Tantrum. Ripperoni finished its year at 5-3, but with a murderer's row of victims, just a perfect base to add on to for 2024. Now, at number 21, Lucky 21 brings us a robot which low-key has been one of the most active heavyweights in all of America over the past two years, not missing a single event, whether it be BattleBots, Robotica, Remars, or even RoboGames. It's Martin Mason's crazy cat, Mad Catter, driven by one of the best in the world, Calvin Eba. Whether it's China, Texas, or Las Vegas, this robot seems to impress. At World Championship 7, it managed to reach the top 32 once again and even took home that year's Founders Award, but perhaps more impressive was his performance at RoboGames 2023, where Mad Catter took home the silver medal, the best performance of its entire career, where it defeated the likes of the Emperor, Lucky, and Malice before only falling to eventual champion Manta. Mad Catter finished 2023 at number 21 overall with an 8-5 record, 18 places higher than where it finished in 2022. We are now in the top 20, and at number 20 is the most powerful spinner in UK robot combat history, seemingly making the transition to becoming a full-time U.S. representative. It is the TIFR 2018 champion and seemingly the new face of the robotic death company, Cobalt. Dave Moulds led Cobalt to yet another destructive and notable regular season of World Championship 7, winning three and losing to only Minotaur in what was, in my opinion, the best fight of the 2023 year. Sadly, Cobalt fell pretty quickly in the playoffs, being unseated by the new Brit spinner in town, Monsoon, but the Sin City Slugfest was a different situation. Cobalt was driven by John Maladnik, who was expected to be the robot's new full-time driver moving forward. John is a solid full-body spinner driver, but verts are a whole new story, and despite going 2-1 and one in the tournament, serious struggles were evident, something to watch out for in Cobalt's 2024 campaign. 
But now we are entering the teens with number 19. And just like Shred Up Bro, we have another BattleBots competitor, which spent a ton of the early year in the doghouse on the rankings. Sitting at rank number 70 to rank number 130 for most of the year before a strong surge near the end of the calendar. Whiplash struggled at both RoboGames and BattleBots early on, starting off the year at 0-2 inside the Battle Box while going 3-2 at RoboGames, placing 7th there. Whiplash then around late April started picking it up. Three straight wins in World Championship 7 before being halted by Hydra. And then in the Sin City Slugfest, Whiplash made quite the run yet again, winning its qualifier bracket before falling to Jackpot in a split decision. Not the best year for Whiplash. In fact, it fell five places when compared to its 2022 number 14 finish. But after the abysmal start, the elite robot should hold it, its 9-6 and six record proudly. And Matthew Vesquez is one of the best drivers in the world. You can always expect more from him. Coming in at number 18, we finally have another BattleBot semifinalist in the house with Copperhead, who quickly shut down the worries about the robot featuring its third captain in as many years with the best performance the robot has had since its days as Poison Arrow and Spicy Newt. With the colorful Luke Quinn running the ship, Copperhead has won many fans over outside the box and especially inside the box with some guttural victories over the likes of Bloodsport and Triton in the regular season before taking out Endgame in the playoff top 16 and Riptide bringing joy to all of the sport in the Elite 8. It was perfectly countered in the semifinals by Huge, sadly, but I'd say for the first time since they debuted in 2019, Copperhead is living up to his championship potential, and now Caustic Creations has a genuine chance to put first place gold by a MakerBot's gold medals in the trophy case soon enough. Zach Goff is sure to be happy with that. But now it's time for another former semifinalist and another killer vertical spinner at number 17, a robot which finished number 5 overall last year following two second pace finishes in World Championship 6 and the Golden Bolt Tournament. And of course, you know who we're talking about here, the officially legendary Witch Doctor. This robot, arguably one of the true faces of robot combat, once again put together a year of dominance, showing up and showing out with a 3-1 regular season in World Championship 7, only losing to Minotaur in a massive rematch, which was quickly redeemed with a brutal knockout over Jackpot to start its playoff run. Lockjaw followed suit, but Huge was able to stop the playoff number four seed, Witch Doctor, knocking it out and putting it to rest for 2023. But not before the Galatelys could put together a 5-2 and two record with four of those victories coming by way of KO, another impressive year for the Voodoo Queen. Top 16 time, the final robots on this list and then this video could make for one hell of a 16 bot bracket. And in a hypothetical bracket, seed number 16, we would have the robot which turned heads at BattleBots World Championship 7, RoboGames, and even BattleBots Destructathon. We're talking about Malice. A massive criticism the Combot Collective had with Malice over its first two years was its weapon reliability. It could hit like a truck, sure. But it felt like no matter what weapon Malice brought out, it wouldn't last more than two or three hits before shutting down. Things changed big time this year, though. At the BattleBots 2022 tapings, it put together a collective 6-3 and three record. At RoboGames 2023, it placed third with victories over the likes of Original Sin and Hexadecimator. And at Destructathon, where it seemed like a little bit of an outside-the-box pick at first, the Showbot version of Malice has been sturdy and reliable. Picking up wins versus Kraken and Diablo whenever it does appear. It doesn't appear so often because it's just that destructive. But I mean, super impressive year for Malice. It's jumped from number 67 to number 16 over 2022 to 2023 is insane. Can't wait to see what's next for Bunny and her army of Davids at Team Malice. Next up at number 15, we have the highest ranked crusher on this list. And I mean, do I really need to say anything else? Like, who else could it be? The next highest rate crush on this list was fucking Canover for Pete's sake. Robo Challenge was back this year after almost four years of anticipation, and boy, the Cooper brothers did not disappoint. They came to play, and just like Claw Vapor, they show that not only can control bots be competitive, they show that they can be destructive. People expected Quantum to do well in World Championship 7, but I don't think anybody expected a 4 0 campaign where Quantum picked up half of its victories by a knockout. Quantum did have a quick exit from the playoffs after one mistake versus Ribot, but it quickly made up its loss with a victory by knockout over Double Tap at Vengeance in Vegas. Quantum, the best crusher in the world, capped off its year at 5-1 with 28 points, a huge win for not only the Grabby Bot Nation, but for all the Razorheads out there today that believe a silver crusher can still dominate the sport. 
But now we're past the wave of BattleBots powerhouses, and we're back to Russia with number 23 at number 14. Way back during our Battle of Robots preview video, of all the unknowns entering that first stage of the tournament, I put high stock and high confidence in the very much Cobalt-inspired Wayside 23, saying it would be one to watch out for. And it is about time I get one of these predictions right. Not only did Wayside 23 look like Cobalt, but it also hit like Cobalt, delivering the strongest weapon power in Battle of Robots amongst his Russian counterparts, only being rivaled by Daddy. Wayside 23 brought the pain to Murrah Bay, War Machine, Weber, and Ironwind, the latter two of course being faces of the Russian scene, as only Iron Scrap was able to halt the Wicked Spinner in the semifinals. Wayside 23 finished its rookie year at 5-1 with 4 KOs and a 3rd place finish at Battle of Robots, a very strong performance for the rookie squad of Team Turbo Mechatronics, and another strong start has already been established at 2024's Super Final event. This robot is going to be ranked high again, I already know it. Coming in at number 13, lucky for some, is the highest ranked Indian robot on our list. The robot which finished one place higher than Wayside 23, the Battle of Robots runner-up Godspeed from DT Robotics. This robot not only had arguably the best new robot name of 2023, but it also had some impressive drive and weapon power. The four-wheel drive Eggbeater got through its first round of qualifiers with ease after wins over Oak Block and Red Triangle. Then after a little bit of good fortune versus Daddy, Godspeed made the most out of its lucky round of 16 win by easily taking out Hypericum and Barracuda before being outmatched by Iron Scrap in the finals. Godspeed, much like Wayside 23, finished its year at 5-1 with 4 knockouts. Only a championship final placement divides these two. And with Godspeed already holding a championship win in 2024, I'd expect that robot to be high again next year, maybe even higher than Wayside 23. But now, at number 12, you cannot have a list of some of the most elite combat robots in the world without a Team Wayachi robot being featured somewhere on that list. And while 2023's best bout machine, Fusion, was far from making the list, sitting at number 205 of 211, you best damn knew that Jake Ewart's Hydra, easily the best flipper on this side of the planet, would be on here, coming in at number 12. This was a historic year for the robot, which eventually tied for 5th in World Championship 7. In its battle versus free shipping, Hydra broke the BattleBots flips per fight record with 25 flips in one match. In its battle versus death roll, it became the first ever robot to throw another machine into the ceiling when in the round of 32, Hydra managed to scrape the Aussie Crocodile into the arena trusses of the battle box. And then, at BattleBots Destructathon, in a fight versus Overkill, Hydra became the first robot to pull off and out of the arena inside the battle box in over a year. After a rough 2022, Hydra is officially back with a 7-2 2023, where over half of those robots succumb to the flipper, losing by knockout. It's going to be very interesting to see where Hydra places next year. It's a bit of a flippy floppy robot, but I have confidence Jake Ewart's going to keep things consistent. Coming in at number 11, just two spots higher than our highest ranked Indian robot is our highest ranked Brazilian robot. And honestly, who else could be the highest ranking Brazilian robot than the RioBots icon itself, Minotaur? The Brazilian Bowl, another robot which tied for 5th in World Championship 7, had a lot of pent-up rage entering the event after a controversial end to BattleBots World Championship 6. And Tantrum, Free Shipping, Cobalt, and Witch Doctor all paid the price of that anger during its 4-0 regular season where it earned a number 1 seed into the playoffs. From here, Minotaur's driver Daniel Freitas put away a couple of electric horizontal spinners in Fusion and Malice in Round 1 and 2 respectively. And then finally, in the final episode of the season, in one of the most thrilling fights of the entire year, the eventual champion Sawblaze put Minotaur away once again, making it a little bit of a kryptonite for the Big Bad Bull. Minotaur finished its year at 6-1 and one with 36 points, enough for a position 6 spots higher than it had last year, but still not enough for a top 10 spot. But now, let's jump into the top 10. The biggest TCC 10 to date yet, with the most elite robots from the year 2023 and late 2022. Robots which left with championship hardware, title belts, countless wins, and even success in multiple events. And that brings us to easily the biggest shock of our top 10. A robot which at one point sat in the number one spot of our rankings during mid-April, the killer Canuck Lucky. 
With the addition of Matt Olson in 2021, Lucky finally broke out of its early career funk to channel the inner spirit of its older sibling, Ziggy, the greatest super heavyweight of all time, by dominating in the regular season and making the playoffs. Lucky added to that performance this year with another dominant regular season, going 3-1 yet again, but once more, the Canadian flipper bowed out in round one of the playoffs versus a very game hypershock. This year, though, Lucky added one more stop to its calendar in Rubber Games, and after defeating the likes of Original Sin, Crash and Burn, and even Whiplash twice, Lucky earned itself a fourth-place finish at Robo Games, bringing its total 2023 record to 10 wins and 5 losses, totaling in at 36 points overall. Very impressive and steady growth continuing for TKO Robotics. Next up at number 9, we have another champion, fittingly enough, of BattleBots champions with a two-time Golden Bolt winner, one-time FMB world champion, and of course, one-time giant nut holder, Endgame, coming in at number 9. Oh yes, Robotics may have not had the most highlight of regular season in years during World Championship 7. Sure, it made the top 16, but it did lose a couple of fights to robots people expected it to beat with Ripperoni and Copperhead. But in the Golden Bolt bracket, we received a bye to the Elite 8 once again. Jack Barkley, Mick Maybe, and the rest of the Killer Kiwis did what they did last year and broke through the Golden Bolt Champions bracket without a sweat. First, it was fellow championship driver Gary Jin with free shipping. Then in the semifinals, it was hometown favorite Jackpot. And then for the finals, the grand finals, in a split judge of decision, the 2020 BattleBots champion usurped the 2022 BattleBots champion Sawblaze, getting revenge for the 2018 USA vs. World fight while taking home another golden bolt. Endgame wrapped its year up at 7 wins and 2 losses, but surprisingly did fall 5 points from where it finished last year. Coming at number 8, we have a robot which dominated two continents over the last year. A true story of Robot Wars field filler to maybe the top spinner of all the UK. We got Tom Brewster with Team Toron's Monsoon. After years of weapon reliability and inconsistent results, the robot once known as Toron really got everything turned up to 10 this year at both BattleBots and Extreme Robots. At Las Vegas and World Championship 8, amongst the very game field of British robots such as Cobalt and Quantum, Monsoon stood above the rest, even managing to knock out Cobalt in the playoffs after putting together another solid regular season, eventually ending it in a Sweet 16 where it lost a hard-fought 2018 rematch versus Sawblaze. In its home country of the UK, though, Monsoon ended up proving to be the extreme robot savior the spinner class needed from Zagkiel. Monsoon put a halt to Zagkiel with multiple wins via knockout over the wild spinner, plus victories over other robots such as Donald Thump and Ominous. Overall, in both the U.S. and the U.K., this Superstorm on wheels went 9-4 with an insane 8 knockouts, an impressive mark which has shot Monsoon up 10 positions from where it was last year. Following along at lucky number 7 is a robot, whether you love it or hate it, you cannot deny it's a powerhouse, Riptide. The very meta four-wheel drive egg beater impressed in its rookie season and did it again in World Championship 7, going 4-0 with four knockouts, not winning a lot of people over in the process. We then saw more questionable actions by the team in the playoffs, but it's still impressed, shocking the world with big-time KOs over both Hypershock and Shatter. Thankfully, Copperhead was able to seize the Kurtz family Break 32 Brigade, ending its year at six wins and one loss. It'll be interesting to see if this robot does appear next year after its general reputation and reception. But now, back to the beloved robots at number 6. There may not be a more beloved team in the UK as well than the one and only Team Gabriel, led and ran by the wonderful Callias family. And after the team's other two robots, Saint and Gabriel, finish at number 211 and 210 respectively, literally the bottom two spots on our TCC rankings, the team was due to have one world beater amongst their ranks, and boy, did they have one with Zach Hill. There isn't another heavyweight in the world today quite like Zach Hill, who was a bit of a hybrid between hijinks and huge with its insane vertical slash horizontal spinning bludgeon or spinner, which has absolutely torn apart just about every spinner the country has hosted over the last year. We're talking about robots such as Galactus, Donald Thump, Triforce, Immersion, Aftershock, and even BattleBots' own Ominous. They all fell victim to the Killer Angel, who defended the newly founded Extreme Robot Spinner Championship with ease over the calendar year. The only robot that was able to solve Zagkiel was the aforementioned Monsoon, 
but even after giving Zach Hill its only three losses, it still was not enough to stop it from being the highest ranked UK spinner on our rankings with a 10-3 and record. But now, number five, we are officially in the super elite category here, if it wasn't obvious enough. As next, at number five, we have our final battle of robots veteran to discuss, the only Chinese robot on this list, from Team ROC, Iron Scrap. Iron Scrap debuted at King of Bots 2 all the way back in 2019 and shocked the sport with victories over robots such as Mad Catter and Tanche. But after COVID hit the nation, the country's scene was in serious question, with no Chinese bots appearing anywhere at all for years until the second qualifier of Battle of Ro Robots was announced, where Battle of Robots revealed that the purple drum bot will be returning, and immediately fans had it as a favorite to win it all, <laughs> and win it all it did. From round one to the finals, Lawn Mower, Sinus Robot, Honey Badger, Adam, Wayside 23, and Godspeed in that order all fell victim one by one, all by way of knockout, with only one of those robots, Wayside 23, managing to last longer than two minutes. Outside of what Riptide did early on in the year, in my opinion, no robot had a more impressive and dominant stretch of fights than Iron Scrap. Really hope we can see this team at BattleBot soon enough. If you are Trey and Greg, you have to be paying attention to this machine, even if it does look a little bit like Minotaur. You love purple robots. I love purple robots. <laughs> but now we go to our top four, and you may be able to guess the last four robots we have on our list from here. And if you can't even name number four, you may not be as huge of a robot fan as you thought. And hey, look at that. Number four is huge. After years on the live scene, Huge debuted as a heavyweight at BattleBots 2018, with expectations of being more than a novelty in the field than anything, but a novelty Huge is not. This big wheeled beast has yet to miss a playoff since debuting in 2018, and after almost retiring before the World Championship 7 season, Huge really proved itself once again by finally having the perfect campaign. It all started with Huge's first ever undefeated regular season, going 4-0 with wins over robots like Blip and Fusion. And then in the playoffs, after I predicted it to win BattleBots that year, it dominated with even more shock victories over the likes of Scorpius and Witch Doctor. Jonathan Schultz eventually led Huge to its first ever BattleBots championship final after failing to break past the top 16 for years. And after a very hard-fought championship versus Sawblaze, it did come up short despite having a strong first half of the battle. Huge wrapped up its second place year with 8 wins, 1 loss, 50 points, and a number 4 spot on a TCC 100, a whopping 32 spots higher than where it ranked last year at number 34. Top 3 now, number 3, and it's our undeniable rookie of the year for 2023. In 2022, we were robbed of Nick Dobrikov's Drago after a failed application to BattleBots. So Nick decided to build the robot anyway, give it the new name of Manta, and bring it to RoboGames 2023 instead. And boy, did it prove to everyone that denying it a year prior was a mistake. In a field which had BattleBots and RoboGames favorites, new and old, this robot dominated the field, knocking out Big Dill, Stink Eye, Teratops, Lucky, Malice, Mad Catter, and even the damn arena itself en route to taking a RoboGames gold medal home on its first try. Overall, Manta went 6-1 in its RoboGames debut, skyrocketing it to number one for a short period, but apparently that was just not enough for Team Tanto. Manta, after proving itself enough, showed up to Proving Grounds a couple months later where only Trident was brave enough to challenge it, a choice Bradley Hanstad may have regretted after two very similar knockouts versus it on back-to-back -back nights, ending Manta's year with eight wins, one loss, and eight, eight knockouts. And look out for this robot. Greg Munson has already confirmed it for a World Championship 8 appearance once the new championship is green-lighted. This robot very well may be holding up a giant nut in less than a year. Coming in now at number 2, a bit of a big surprise despite it finishing in this exact same position last year. It is easily one of the most dominant UK heavyweights in the sports history, a recent Extreme Robots title belt holder, a multi-time FRA UK champion, and the reigning Robot Wars Series 10 champion. It's Team Invade's Eruption. Last year, the Team Invade squad of Team Inferno dominated the new team format at Extreme Robots. And while the team suffered a little bit more struggle this year, the result remained all the same with the Eruption leading the Team Inferno charge after a year that had an Extreme Robots title reign plus numerous victories in the Gladiator melees. But that wasn't enough. The Black and Yellow Beast also went out to Robots Live Stoke-on-Trent event, 
and added even more to their record with an undefeated victory in that competition as well, defeating the likes of Tanche and rival Tectonic. Overall, the multi-time UK champion would put together a record of 29 wins and 11 losses, a very impressive record, but somehow a step down from their 19-3 record in 2022. Still, nonetheless, this robot places second yet again in our rankings despite fighting exclusively in sportsman competition. Only one spot away from number one, and I'm sure you can guess who number one is at this point. Of course, who else can it be? Coming in with a 10-win, 2-loss record boasting 56 points, the same as Eruption, is G3 Robotics' masterpiece machine, Sawblaze. The only thing dividing Sawblaze and Eruption from number 1 and number 2 was a giant nut, the greatest championship in our sport, and the highlight moment in Jameson Goh's year, taking it back to that championship section when Sawblaze managed to take out Ribot and Huge all in one day. But as we all know, taking that BattleBots World Championship, beating robots such as Hypershock, Scorpius, Minotaur, Monsoon, and Huge means you also get an invite to the top 8 of the Golden Bolt Tournament. And here, Sawblaze made another run to the finals by defeating Shredded Bro and 2021 champion Tantrum by judge's decision before going all the way to the end with Endgame in a rematch where Sawblaze would finally be handed another loss via the split decision. Overall, Sawblaze and his driver slash captain Jameson Go really have left their mark in the spot, not only in the heavyweight class, but also the beetleweight, hobbyweight, and featherweight divisions, which Jameson Go also dominates. Sawblaze, the reigning and defending battle boss champion, caps off the TCC 100 as our TCC number one overall in 2023 with a 10-2 record, picking up four knockouts across two events to bring it to 56 points, and in that number one slot, 14 positions higher than where it finished in 2022. So there you go, everyone. 100 robots up, 100 robots down, 32 specifically in this video. And we have officially wrapped it up, going all the way from Andromeda at number 100 to all the Team Shock robots, all the Team Invade robots, all the U.S., Russian, Chinese, Indian robots. They've all been listed here. Over 100 robots that didn't even make this list. And we have our top robots. Of course, I promised you guys undefeated robots like Travis T and Iron Scrap. Champions such as Eruption, such as Iron Scrap, such as Endgame, such as Sawblaze, such as Eruption, of course. An amazing top 10. Plenty of variety in weapons. We had crushers such as Quantum, horizontal spinners such as Malice and Roundhouse, vertical spinners such as Riptide, Hammer saw such as Sawblaze, Flippers such as Lucky and Hydra in here. And with so many things popping up next year, like what's happening with Mech Plus and Robots Live, upcoming BattleBot season, Proving Grounds, Extreme Robots, more Battle of Robots, and who knows what else is going to pop up around the world this year. It is going to be another exciting TCC ranking season, which we are going to be starting very soon. Keep an eye on that on social media. But yes, everybody, that wraps it up. The TCC 100 Part 3 is done. You have seen the 100 best robots from 2023 presented to you guys from the Combot Collective. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, please like the video. Leave a comment giving us your thoughts on the TCC 100 rankings and the overall TCC rankings, which you can check out in full in the link below. And subscribe to the channel. I heard that the subscribe button now glows when you say subscribe. I don't know if it's going right now. That would be cool. But I digress as I drop a piece of smack a lantern. Small flex there. Um, but I digress. We also have a Facebook and an Instagram page. Check them out. Robot Combat News gets posted there, including some details on what I was just talking about happening on Mech Plus. And of course, we also have a it, and of course we also have a Discord server. Plenty of chatting happening there between robot builders and robot fans. Our video news gets posted there first. A lot of good stuff happening there. Follow the Combat Collective everywhere for more lists, more videos, more discussions, more everything. We're covering the sport big time, and we're going to be covering it all year. The hiatus is over. We're back. So we'll see you next time for more Robot Combat rundowns and news at the Combat Collective. Sawblaze, though, number one. Maybe we'll be number one next year. We're just going to have to see. This love the Combat Collective. I'm the hardest hard round and this total.